So our lesson was about figures of speech. Let us make a quick revision. As a definition, we said that a figure of speech is a word or a phrase that possesses a separate meaning from its literal definition. So it's usually uh, we have to read between the lines in order to get the meaning of the word in which we use figures of speech in it, okay? So any sp statement that includes figure of speech, I shouldn't simply look at its literal meaning or literal definition. Literal definition means to like directly open the dictionary and see what the meaning of soldiers, what the meaning of braves, etc. Okay, so uh, usually we use figure of speech because it makes our, uh, our writing more creative, it makes it better, and also for the readers, it's, you're gonna attract their attention. Okay, we have different uh, types of figures of speech, okay? Today we're gonna focus on three, on four different types and each type we're gonna have the definition along with an example related to it. The first type is called simile. It's a, it's a figure of speech that makes a comparison. So usually we show similarities between two different things and we have to use words like, like or as, okay? As an example, our soldiers are as brave as lions. Here in order, uh, both soldiers and lions are brave. This is how they are similar. So, and we use the word as in order to show the similarity. Another example is, her cheeks are red like a rose. Okay, so both the, uh, her cheeks and the rose and the, and the rose is what or are red. Okay, and here uh, Fatima, I use the word like in order to show how they are alike. So, any question about the simile? Good. The second type is the metaphor. Okay, no. metaphor, a metaphor no. is a figure of no. actually it's like the simile, but we have one uh, difference between them which is a metaphor is a figure of speech which makes an implicit comparison between two items without using like or as. So uh, in the previous example, we, we wrote how they are the same. For example, both soldiers and lions are brave and, uh, and both her cheeks and the rose is or are red, okay? But in the second example, for example, he is a lion. Here it implies that he is so brave I didn't use the word as or like, okay? And I didn't say, uh, show how they are alike, okay? But here in order to show that he is really strong, I said that he is the lion, okay? Or the assignment was a breeze. In order to show that it was not difficult, it was so easy, okay? It was like a breeze, okay? The third type is called personification. Also personification comes from the word person. Okay, human being. Person is a figurative language technique where an object or idea is given human characteristics or quality. Means that uh, I will give a human characteristic to non-human being, okay? To non-human, like could be ob an object, could be an idea. For example, justice is a blind at times deaf, okay? So here, justice, I gave it the, the, the traits of being blind and deaf, okay? So here, usually, justice doesn't have like ears or, uh, or, or, or like eyes in order to be blind or deaf, okay? But here, in order to say that sometimes we don't, we don't see what, uh, what uh, justice is and we don't hear it, we say it's blind and deaf. The clouds were crying. In order to show that it was raining heavily, I, I said that the clouds were crying. And of course, crying is a human characteristic, okay? Or a human quality, okay? The last example is related to hyperbole. Hyperbole is a figure of speech which involves an, uh, so it, which involves an exaggeration of idea for the sake of emphasis. So in order to emphasize on something, usually I exaggerate using what? Uh, figures of speech called hyper, hyperbole. It's a divide that we'll employ in our day-to-day -day speech. Usually without actually thinking or feeling, we use, we use this technique, okay? Therefore, a hyperbole is an X, an real exaggeration to emphasize the real situation. For example, my grandmother carries a mountain on her shoulders. So in order to say that my, my grandmother has a lot of responsibilities, I 
I emphasize this by saying that as if she's carrying a mountain, your, your suitcase weighs a ton. In order to say that your suitcase is so heavy, I said that it weighs a ton. Here, of course, I'm exaggerating, but this is not true. Okay, guys, let us directly go to task six, page 129. We have to say which uh, figure of speech. We have four types. We have to say which one. And we have to like explain the statement. Uh, soon darkness enveloped our camp. Okay. So here, which figure of speech? Yes. And the number two, the moon was shy to show Wait, her yes. face. Number three, the campfire had become a warm friend. Number four, their eyes became as large as silver dollars. I want you to take about a few seconds in order to scan that exercise before I give you the answer. Okay, just a few seconds, not more. Miss, uh, which page? Page 129. So, 129, please. Are you ready? Shall yes. we start? Yes. So, so what? What, what is the figure? What is the used figure of speech? The first one, it's a metaphor. Why? Because here, first of all, we don't have the word as or, or the word like. And here, darkness is portrayed as a wrapper or cover hiding the camp. So uh, it is like a, a cover. Since it's darkness, you can't see. It's like a cover. Okay. The second one, the moon was shy to show her face. What, for example, what, what is this type? It's very easy. We have the word shy and the word moon. What a personification. Personification. It's personification because shy is a human trait. It's not given or quality. It's, it's related to shyness. It's related to human beings. So because the moon is given the human equality of shyness. So here it means that uh, shy, maybe it, wa it was a cloudy night. We couldn't see the moon as if it was shy to show her face, okay? The campfire had become a warm friend. What type of this? Of- uh, Personification? It's metaphor. It's a- I'm it's gonna metaphor. repeat yes. The campfire had become a warm friend. It's a, yes, Mariam, repeat please. Metaphor. Metaphor, excellent, because we don't have like or as, so it's a metaphor because uh, we, sh we are saying that it was like our friend because it was the only companion, so we didn't use as or like, so it's a metaphor. The last example, their eyes became as large as silver dollars. This is easy. What is it? What is it? Um, yes. similar. Similar. As similar because we have as large as, so... Um, I'm explaining or saying that uh, both her eyes and or their eyes and the silver dollars are large, okay? So it's a simile because I used as and I said how they are alike. Any question, guys? No.